All right, welcome back to AI content creation. In this quick video, I'm going to be going over just a quick workflow, which is ChatGPT content creation workflow. Now, uh, keep in mind that each one of these, right, if we want to, we'll, I'll actually create a video for each one of these, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. <clears throat> so I can create about seven videos, five to seven videos going over each one of these. If I went over and showed you a demo of all this in one video, this would end up being about a 45 minute video. I'm sure you don't want to sit through that. So in this first video, we're going to go over a, an overview workflow that I've been using in my business that has been working really, really well. And this is how you rank content using ChatGPT. Now, of course, you can apply this, you can sub things out, like if you needed to sub out and not use ChatGPT, you could use any of your other um, AI writers like Jasper, um, ScaleNet, uh, ZimWriter, all kinds of other ones that you can use. Uh, but, uh, you know, ChatGPT um, is definitely very intelligent and you can get the job done with ChatGPT. Um, lately, it has been having some slowdowns since they released a GPT-4 but they will get um, through that soon enough. Um, but as we're going into the future, ChatGPT is pretty much gonna be a paid program just like all the rest of them. So you wanna keep that in mind. In, in, in order to get uh, GPT-4 or use a GPT plus you've got, or to use the GPT playground, all the best tools of course are paid tools. So just keep that in mind. But so we're gonna start off real quick right now and you're going to need to start with some keyword research, right? So you can use your favorite keyword research software. It can be uh, Ahrefs, SEMrush, uh, Ubersuggest. Uh, you know, Ubersuggest gives you a free version. I have a lifetime access deal I paid two or $300 for and I'll never have to pay again. Um, so uh, Ubersuggest is definitely, if you don't want to spend one to $200 a month on Ahrefs or SEMrush, then Ubersuggest is probably the next best thing. And like I said, you can pay monthly for that, about $30 a month, or you can just just uh, go and buy the one-time deal and never have to pay again. I think that's a really, really good deal there. Uh, Rank IQ is another software that you can actually optimize your content as well, uh, kind of like a surfer SEO, but it has a, uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of keywords in there that they've already sifted through and found good keywords for you. So Rank IQ, I think of uh, mostly of has a keyword research tool first and that uh, I'm subscribed to and I use that as well. Low Fruits is a great one, Keyword Chef, and there's just so many more. So pick a keyword tool. You need to do some keyword research. And uh, if you guys want me to show you how to do uh, clustering, how to cluster the keywords once you get them, um, because let's just say you get a, you download a list of 3000 keywords in your niche. You're going to need to um, bring those into a keyword clusters. So you're not writing, uh, you know, multiple articles on the same topic. So there could be different variations of a keyword. And if you don't uh, cluster your content, then you're going to end up creating the same article, you know, uh, possibly dozens of times. So that's how you prevent the uh, cannibalization on your website. Um, and so forth. So I can also create some content on that. So you want to make sure that you subscribe to um, AI content generation, because I'm going to be showing you all of these different things that you need to know how to do in order to move forward into the future using AI tools to create content for your blogs and rank them um, and do it in the right way. All right, so um, then what we're gonna do is after you know what you're going to write about, you have a nice keyword, right? You've clustered your content and so forth. Now we're ready to go and create our article outline. So a lot of people will um, go and they'll just jump right in uh, to just, uh, they'll put in a keyword right here and they'll say, write me a blog post um, about X, Y, Z, and then chat GPT will go to work and write the, write the content for them. But that is uh, not the right way to do this. There's two ways that you can actually go about doing this. And um, you can, you could tell chat GPT, if you've got a great outline prompt, you can actually have chat GPT, write the outline for you and do all that work for you. But if you have a tool like let me write this down for you guys. So like Surfer, SEO, we got Phrase, we've got Neuron Writer, and then there's a bunch more, but I'm just gonna name those three right here. I'm gonna put that under here, I guess. 
So if you have one of these tools right here, you're going to be able to go um, and it's going to be able to do live data analysis, right? And ChatGPT is not able to do that. And so what it's going to be able to do is go out to the internet and uh, find the top um, ranked articles what's ranking for that keyword and then tell uh, the software is going to bring in all the NLP keywords and all of the uh, main H2s and H3s for your content. And it's going to be able to um, help you create the best article outline, right? So that's what you really want to do is you want to use one of these tools if you can, in order to create the article outline. Okay. So once you create the article outline, then you're going to move on to the next step right here which is going to be using chat GBT uh, in order to create the content. And we'll go over specifically how you can do that. You can use different prompts. You can use the um, extensions uh, that are provided that you can go and other people have already put in the hours of work to um, create really great prompts for you to create articles. You can use their prompts. You can come up with your own prompts. As you watch some of my other videos, I've shown you a prompt that I created myself that allows me to create one to 2000 word articles really in depth, highly optimized as well. So there's all kinds of different ways to use ChatGPT to create that content. But um, needless to say, you can create your entire article using ChatGPT, super cool stuff. Once you create that article, then you're going to bring the um, article in to your optimizer, which is going to be one of these optimizers over here. And then you're going to optimize your content, right? So you're going to want to spend the extra time to actually optimize your content the best way and get the highest score you can. Um, you don't want to over optimize. So don't maybe, maybe don't shoot for a hundred every time, but as long as you are kind of cross over to green, um, and then, uh, like neuron I use uh, the most, and what neuron writer allows you to do is basically see what the competition, the top 10 um, has, and you'll be able to see if your um, article length is uh, longer than all 10 of them. And then also if your content scores higher than them, that's all you need is it to be equal or greater to the top 10. And you're going to have a great chance. Um, and what I like to do is actually not spend the extra additional time optimizing to the fullest, just get the content good enough enough to um, rank on page one, and then get your content up and published as quick as possible. And that way, after a month or so, it finally finds its ranking. Um, and if it does finally hit, you know, let's say it hits page one, and it's ranked number eight, um, it's really settling in at uh, ranked number eight. But in order to move up, you're going to need to do some more optimization. At that point, you know that for that keyword and for your website, and for your domain uh, rating and all those things that Google does like your content and saying that your site can rank for this keyword. At that point, you can go in later on and really optimize your content to get it to rank in that top three spot. Okay. So after we optimize the content, then we're going to take it over and we can use a couple of different tools, Grammarly, Quillbot and so forth to um, edit our article. One really cool thing I like about Quillbot is that it has a one click um, fix all grammar mistakes in the article um, in one button. So I like that if so, if you're looking for speed and you still and you want, you know, most of the stuff to get fixed, great. But if you really want uh, in depth uh, grammar uh, mistakes fixed and so forth, and uh, more, you know, AI suggestions and, and all that sort of thing, then you're going to need um, a copy of Grammarly Pro edition in order to do that. And mind you, it's going to take you probably 10 to 15 minutes to go through your article to because Grammarly used to have a one click um, apply all edits, but they took that away and it was intentional. They don't want people to just push a button and fix all the, uh, you know, the mistakes that they find. They want you to actually look at it and see if it makes sense to your content and context. But like I said, Grammarly is more powerful and you're going to get even, uh, you're going to get the best, um, you know, edits done with Grammarly, uh, but you can use Grammarly, Quillbot or any other, there's plenty of other uh, grammar uh, checkers, but you want to run it through there if uh, for peace of mind to make sure that it, you know, it's going to read well is and so forth. Then I actually, instead of just saying, okay, and then go publish to your blog. Well, I actually added a uh, draft in WordPress as a full step, because once you uh, upload your article to uh, WordPress to, to do the draft mode, that is um, actually a really big process, right? You don't want to just go and paste it and then push, um, you know, publish. 
there's a lot of things we need to do. I wait, I don't add all the images in any of these tools. You could use these tools and add the images and all that, but by the time you copy this and paste it into Grammarly and do all these other things over here, you're going to, um, you're going to lose a lot of time and work um, because it's not gonna cross over. The images aren't gonna stay all the time. It's better to do those parts at the end over here, but you're gonna need to add images to your article in WordPress. You're going to need to do some further optimization. Some, uh, you're gonna to need to make sure all the headings, the H2s and H3s are all uh, properly formatted. Uh, in WordPress, you're going to want to add some internal links. You're going to want to add some external links. You're going to want make sure that you um, finalize the meta description, and you're going to want to make sure that the URL slug is short and sweet and just going after the keyword itself. So you may have a title, let's just say that's you know this long, um, has a you know a complete guide or something like that is part of it. Uh, but then your your slug really just needs to be just the main keyword, right? Whatever keyword you find over here, that's what your slug needs to be. Um, if that makes sense. So uh, this is a workflow that works well for me. And like I said, I will go ahead and create some videos that are specific to these, right? So you can see what we are talking about using all these tools, but this is how you kind of put it all together and go out there and start attacking content like crazy and uploading to your new sites and start getting this content to rank. If you have all these steps right here and you take it serious, you can go out there and build blogs and rank them. All right, so uh, make sure that you subscribe to AI Content Generation. I'll have more videos like this and similar in the future. And I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching the whole video and I'll see you in the next video.